Hey, Shalom. All oh, praise is unto Yahweh Shem Yashai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. I want you both to be pushing this truth in sincerity for the four corners of the earth. So I'm going to do a quick video here. Um, to um, basically going into the fact that there ain't going to be no safe zones out here. Okay. As you can see from this 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 article here, and 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 um and maybe maybe other articles and maybe videos out there um on some truthers and you know they're saying well, you could pack up and go this that and, and, and the third but well, pretty much the the more size judgment is going to be played out out here okay the laws judgment is going to be played out out here as we all see within the scriptures okay because babylon has been this golden cup within the more size hands pouring out this madness whether it be uh, uh um whether it be government structure okay whether it be uh, uh, uh empowering uh, 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 women, okay, all of them things has added to where there's a there's poison that, that has um polluted the whole earth. In fact, we go to the book of Mark, the second chapter, and the tenth verse, it says, Arise, eat the part, for it is polluted. Okay, so whether you're eating food, oh, these different so called safe regions that you got out here, okay, where you got these truthers are saying, Boom, that's where you're gonna go and that's where you're gonna survive World War Three. Well, guess what? There's all types of GMO food there, okay, there's all types of uh 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 uh, 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 uh there okay there's all types of abominations that the Mosa is gonna cleanse out of the earth now we know that when the Mosa has the thing pop off that ultimately uh, uh uh um some things are gonna be carried out within that a thousand year period okay some of the some of the things in terms of cleansing and cleaning and a real building a, a, a better world okay which is gonna be a better world for the Israelites okay all of that, some of that is going to take place within the a thousand years, but that 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 doesn't mean there's going to be a safe zone out of it, okay? This whole place, this whole entirety of what you know as 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 a modern day Earth is going to be clean restarted, okay? And you can read about that within the Book of Isaiah, the twenty fourth chapter. So I got a few precepts I wanted to go to to premise off of that. So really, this is an old article. It says the end is nigh, and that goes to show you that people are getting in that spirit, okay? They're getting in that spirit. The Lord's returning. But they, 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 they all, they all have you believe there's some type of way to avert the judgment that's going to come upon you. Doesn't the scriptures say within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter and the 8th verse, that the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom and he's going to destroy it from off the face thereof? Okay, that means to say what? That means to say all of the wickedness, wherever you wait, wherever, wherever you go, the scripture says they're going to ride and hide themselves, but most of are going to have it to where they're going to be found, man. Okay, but that's really dealing with the elites. Because the elites, they're going to try to space shuttle out of this, out of this World War Three. They they're the ones that are orchestrating a controlled World War Three, but they're gonna try. They're gonna try. Um, uh, what do you call it? They're gonna try escape this World War Three, and they're still gonna be judged, man. So there ain't no safe zone out here. In fact, for the Israelites, the safe zone is this truth. Definitely, the scriptures say within the book of Isaiah, was it the thirty third chapter? How the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding shall be the stability of that times. Okay, that's gonna be the safe zone. Hell, I'll go as far as saying this. Okay, the name of the Lord is the safe zone. The scripture says that the name of the Lord is a, is a strong tower. Okay, so when you have it to our army is going to come and, and they're going to destroy the world, what are you going to do? You're going to have it to where you're going to have a, a, a fortress. Okay, in other words, a strong tower that you're going to run to and you've got a vantage point. Okay, well, our vantage point, right, as far as this, as far as anything is concerned, is the name of Yahabah Shem Yahashai. The scripture says that. Okay. So let's go into these different precepts right quick. It's the book of Jeremiah, the 51st chapter, on the 7th verse. It says, um, Babylon hath been the golden cup in the Lord's hand, and he hath made all the earth drunk it. So that's just dealing with the ideas of this place, man. Okay, that's just the plain old ideas of this place. And they're completely against the scriptures. Those ideas are completely against the scriptures. And therefore, the Most High is going to destroy it. Right? And everywhere where all of that poison is hit. Okay, Babylon has been the golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken, and the nations have drank it off our wine, therefore the nations are mad. So all of that madness is going to be wiped off. Okay, so no safe haven. You got some, a safe haven out there that people going to run to when this thing is, is popping off. Okay, well they're going to take their ideas with you. With them, sorry. They're going to take their ideas with them, meaning to say all of the ideas that they're going to have out there is going to be what? It's going to be wickedness. Okay, so the Mosai is going to have to, re he's going to have to eradicate that. Okay, so this is Babylon is fallen, right? This is talking about America. 
that on his, is suddenly fallen and destroyed, how ye and take balm for her, if so she may be healed. And he goes into something else. Now let's go to the book of Zechariah, the fifth chapter, and his third verse. It says, Then said he unto me, Right, this is the curve that goeth forth over the whole face of the earth, for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off, right, according to it, and everyone that sweareth, um, um, in fact, what am I doing? Um, 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 I'm going off. Right, I should be starting at here, the first verse, Zechariah 5 and 1, it says, And I turned and looked, and, uh, and I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying rod. That's talking about the chariots. Okay, another good example of this scripture is the book of Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Okay, when the Lord comes within the Father ship, the Father ship commences the cleansing, right, by way of the fire. Go to the book of Second Peter, the third chapter, what did it say? The earth that was standing in waters and out of waters, by them was cleansed by what? By cleansed by way of water. Okay. But the Lord said, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna destroy it by water anymore. Now we, we here's the symbol, the rainbow, that I ain't gonna destroy it by water anymore. Now you got it to where people are saying, look, we was back the history tells us that the, the Sodomites were killed by by water. Okay, they were killed by, by 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 the floods. And now we're gonna use the symbol of the covenant of the most high made with man that he ain't gonna destroy the world by water, right? When we were sodomites again, as a symbol of being sodomites again. That's what the scripture goes into saying that for the pride of these cities shall they be destroyed, man. Okay, and the, the, the instrument of fire is, is going to be used is the, one those ICBM nuclear missiles, but also through the chariots that the Lord's going to come with. Okay, which is being spoken about here. Okay, so let's carry on with this. It says, And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I see a flying roll, the length of it 20 cubits, 20 breaths, um, uh, 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 and the breadth of it 10 cubits. Okay, and he said unto me, Right, this is the curve that, go, uh, the, that goeth forth, right, all, off of the face of the earth. Right off the face of the whole earth, okay, to do what to cleanse it off all of that wickedness, the wicked philosophies, uh, uh, GMO foods, okay, uh, poisons, okay, plastics, okay, you name it, right, it's, it's gonna be cleaned out, okay. And he said, out, and then he said, and then you know what, once these people realize what's happening, they're gonna rejoice off of that, even these heathen nations that we're gonna take over when they realize our rulership is gonna be a rulership in righteousness and not just you know what Esau's doing out there. Then they're going to rejoice and embrace the rulership that the Lord is going to establish upon the face of the earth. That's what the scripture says there. Force, the forces of the Gentiles shall flow continually. They're going to be happy to do that, man. Okay? Sit down to me. Um, This is the curse that goeth forth over the, earth, the whole face of the earth. For everyone that stealeth must be cut off on the side of it, according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off according to it. Okay? Let's go to the book of Revelations, the 18th chapter. All right? Um... Okay, and it's really talking about, about more specifically America. Okay, so it says, and after this, I saw an angel come down from having a great uh, from heaven, get, having great power. And the earth was lit in with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, is becoming the habitation of the devils and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drank off the wine of a wrath of a fucking cage. That's poison. Okay, those I ideas that they push forth out there within America is absolute poison. It's against the scriptures, man. That's going to be cleansed out. That's going to be cleansed out of the earth. Okay? So there is no safe zone, man. The Lord's going to do... Obviously, you, you, oh, let's not get it twisted. The heathen nations is still going to be preserved, but they're going to be preserved to be slaves. So in other words, they're destroyed anyway. Okay? Their so-called empires, the Saudi Arabian OPEC empire that they, they built, right, with, within America, they're not going to have that within the kingdom, but they're going to be there. Right, and they're going to be in servitude underneath us. Okay? But what they have out here, and the money they made out here, they ain't going to have that within the kingdom. They're going to be on, on the level that the Mosai allows uh, allows them to be on, which is going to be a very low level. Okay? They ain't going to be walking proudly against Jake in, in, in that day, man. Okay? They're going to walk down with their heads bowed down. Okay? Right? So what they have now is going to be destroyed. Right? Because why? It's, it's all built off of the lies and deceit and, and evil and wickedness of Esau. Okay, so for all the old nations of, of drank all the wine and wrath of fornications, the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, right, and the merchants of the earth are quite rich for the abundance of her delicacy. So I pulled that scripture out pretty much to show you that as long as you go to America as the spearhead of, of, of all of this, wickedness is going to go out there, man. Okay, and you got to have that wickedness outrooted. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise the Lord, you got to have that wickedness, uh, um, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, rooted out. Okay, and that means a lot of uh, there is no safe safe place to go, and it's gonna be there 
in his in his in his in his splendor and glory after these nuclear missiles hit. Okay, so let me say, oh praise on Tehan Bashim Yashai, double honesty, apostles of great millstone, and honestly, brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.